Hey everyone, uh, it's the last video of the series until I'm going to question answer video. So any questions you forgot on any of the topics, uh, TTM, hero cards, patch collecting, um, and then the little bit of stuff I'm going to cover today. Put those at the bottom of the, of the appropriate uh, subject and I will make a video out of it somewhere down the road. Uh, I thought I had some questions I was going to answer today, but I guess not. So today, the last one, <clears throat> I had a tough time thinking of any more uh, subjects. So I'm going to do... Uh, I forgot what I was going to do. Oh, uh, politics. The reason I'm doing politics is it's TTM per se, autograph collecting per se, but it's, how do I put it? It's a little bit different um, because I only do it email because... Well, I shouldn't say that. I majorly do it email because what you get back is usually, uh, for lack of a better term, fake. Uh, because a lot of politicians have auto pen machines. Um, secretaries sign it. It seems like they don't want to do autographs. But I still try because those that I'm not sure of, I try because it, it's usually just email. So I don't, it doesn't cost me anything. So I do all politics from state level all the way up federal. Um, I always send away for the picture of the president, no matter who the president is, um, because it's almost always an auto pen. Every once in a while you get real. Last time I got a real autograph from a president was probably Jimmy Carter. Uh, him and Roslyn sent, uh, signed my picture. But every other one is fake. Uh, I even got the, uh, the five president picture, I think it was. And that was at Ronald Reagan's funeral. But they sold those you know, they were sold for like 15 bucks at the presidential library. And I forgot whose library it was I bought it. It's back when I drove buses and I went to a lot of different places. Um, another one, just out of, out of side note, Gerald Ford's library. Gerald Ford's in Michigan. Gerald Ford's library is in... I want to say Grand Rapids, Michigan. But uh, he has signed stuff there often. Now, of course, himself, because he's deceased. But I picked up a signed copy of, uh, oh, I forgot her name. Oh, man. Anyway, I got a book of her. I got a book of... My mind just went blank, all the names. But I picked up three autograph books. Condoleezza Rice is the one I'm trying to think of. And the other one... I think it was Mondale. Walter Mondale. But anyway, they have them as speakers, and they have a bunch of books. And their books are available in the gift shop. So, um, funny story... Let me tell you real quick. Uh, when I went to the Gerald Ford Library, I did a hobby called geocaching. Um, you may have seen it, you may have heard of it, some of you may do it. Uh, but I used to do it with my daughters when they were smaller. And I had, I tried to do it myself for many years, but I just never found the time. Or, But anyway... Uh, Long and short, geocaching was looking for 
a like what I call treasure. Um, it was usually something small. I usually used to go for the pillbox size. So you look for a little pillbox. Inside the pillbox is a uh, paper, and you'd sign your name or your username and date and everything. And mark it electronically in the app. Oh man, just waking up in the app. Uh, so I went to your four library, looked for it. It was it says it's very tough to find. You, you try not to get other people um, to notice you when you're looking for it. So you have to kind of be conspicuous. You use your phone to to track it down. And usually when you track it gets down a certain spot and it's that's the challenge is when you get to the spot because it's not easily visible so i'm looking around and i'm just coming from a meeting i was driving back from a meeting in michigan and so i'm in you know business casual clothes and there's all these kids running around it's like a park you know a bunch of people walk around all casual and i think it was a hot day too so they got shorts on and stuff and I'm looking, I'm looking, I can't find this thing. I'm trying to, you know, looking casually behind trees and moving stuff casually. And um, it said in the description that the police are in on it, the, the federal police that protect this library. And my phone's about dead. And I'm looking and I'm like, and I look at one place as a drain and it looks good or something. Um, then I stand up, I look over, and the federal police is watching me, and he's just like. And so I go over to, like, stand over by his landscape rock, which I was wondering, because it was kind of big, so I look how he's turning over. And he goes. <laughs> and so I flip it over and got the geocache and sign my name and put it back. And I told the guard on the way out, thank you. And he goes, don't worry. He goes, you don't know how many people look like idiots looking for this thing. <laughs> and I laughed. Um, I'll make it our video one time. On my geocache stories. They're, they're pretty funny. And I've got some others. Police. Um, people. Funny caches. They're, they're, they're funny. Anyway. Uh, the rest of this video will be just questions and answers I've thought of. Um, politics. Oh, politics. Uh, you can email their... Sorry. I'm getting sidetracked this morning. Uh, you can email their office. I know ten times the office, especially the D.C. office, you're going to get an auto pen. Um, their local office, sometimes you get a reel because those kind of things are, they don't always work at and the people working there might take it and just keep it instead of forwarding to the auto pen. Um, they might keep the request and when the guy comes in, they may hear, sign this, sign this, sign this. Um, one best time I love to get them is when they're campaigning because nine, eight, maybe seven out of 10 times, they're gonna sign the real for, for, for a campaign because they think you're a vote. Even if you're out of state, you might know somebody in the state. You know, you might mention if you ever else is in their district or in their area. Hey, I was talking to my cousin about you. You know, and then they say, oh, vote. So, uh, so try them. It's worth a shot. Uh, questions, answers. Uh, I guess there wasn't any questions. <laughs> There was something I forgot in one of the videos. I forgot. I can't remember. So anyway, it's a short video, 10 minutes long. About three minutes of the subject, but I'm sorry. Uh, my mind is shut this morning. I was up late, got up early. So may your mailboxes be full of what we collect and have a great, great week. Sorry for the video. Talk to you later.